Hello, I'm here with another airdrop. We're looking at Sinter by Layer Zero, interoperable omnichain liquidity layer, an interesting multi chain project which will act also as aggregator. They'll also have staking as collateral, Ethereum, and, and stable coins such as UZT, USDC. It's on testnet, so it's free to farm as early user. On top of that, it's not very heavily farmed, which is always good. And uh, actually the farming is, uh, is quite interesting in my opinion. We'll go over it with this video, obviously. And most importantly, we still have time to farm this one, but the time is not much. So if you're planning on jumping, do it now. My name is Tweretix. In this channel, I talk about crypto. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe. And today we'll take a look at Sinter. As always, all important links and steps which are part of this tutorial will be in the description of the video. Now for this one, you need MetaMask and minimum 0.001 Ethereum inside your Arbitrum mainnet wallet. Because it's a condition, you need test money and to use those facets, you need some money in your main address. So step one, get MetaMask and transfer 0.001 Ethereum, which is like three dollars to your Arbitrum wallet. In this one, I have 0.022. Then you have to add another chain, which is called Arbitrum Cipolle, which is the, the test net. I'll leave a link in the description, which is going to lead you to chain list. And here with one click, you can add to MetaMask. And I have already done that, but you pretty much approve. And then you switch the network and you are on Arbitrum Cipolle, which is the test net. Step two, step two, you have to use a faucet. You can use Alchemy. Here you need an Alchemy account, which you can do for 20 seconds. Just log in with your G Gmail account. Paste your address and you press send me it and you receive 0.5 Arbitrum Cipolio testnet Ethereum and you can do that every 24 hours or you can use the other faucet which is I'm going to leave that link as well which is from QuickNote and there are other faucets you can use anyone those are pretty much easy to use as you can tell the, the goal is to obtain some test Ethereum next step step three use the link in the description and here we're going to use uh, the next faucet so we press faucet down here and we're gonna grab some wrapped Ethereum for example and we're gonna approve the transaction. We're gonna grab some USDC, you know, as always, uh, testnet, the name of the game is Pump Transactions. I recommend this one, if you decide to farm it, do it like every day for the first week and then, I don't know, every second day or every third day, but uh, do some uh, transactions at the first week because we don't have much time to farm this one. Grab USDT, grab everything you can grab pretty much, as I said, spam transactions, etc. I mean, don't ask me if you see me, I'm not getting something. Don't ask me why, just get, get, get everything, record transactions, guys. Now, something important which I forgot to mention, and it's uh, probably the step three, and this is step four, not the other way around. Once uh, the, the first time you visit the website, you're gonna get redirected to Discord, right? To their server. And that's very nice because they have a nice filter, which means that there is no botting here. And that's why pretty much this airdrop might not be heavily farmed. And, and the, in general, the airdrops which do not uh, allow botting, uh, the locations which uh, farmers receive for are greater. So they're, you know, uh, they have priorities. So once you land on the website, you're gonna get redirected to their Discord, verify your account. And after that, go to uh, register wallet here and you type slash register and you copy paste your address and you press enter and you're gonna register and approve uh, your wallet so you can use their website which is kind of cool. So after that, proceed and use the faucet. And uh, then we're gonna proceed to the next step where we're gonna do some staking. So we're gonna stake some wrapped Ethereum. We're gonna approve. So do the stake, do, you know, uh, most of the, it's, it's a two-way transaction, by the way, first time you approve uh, that you're gonna use the token you're gonna use. And after that, you add the collateral and you sign the contract and you add the liquidity. So it's always a two, uh, two-way transaction and then you're gonna proceed to mint you're gonna mint and uh, i'm not gonna go over all the tokens i'm just providing an example here but you do it with all tokens a lot of transactions uh transaction failed why it failed i, I don't know why it failed okay sorry i'm gonna go over uh, this process again because uh i was watching the other monitor and um transaction did fail and, and i did not notice what happened so i'm gonna go over Again, we're gonna deposit, we're gonna proceed to mint, we're gonna do 25% and we're gonna confirm here and the transaction is minted. Okay, uh, I think I was minting 100%. So maybe if you're facing, you know, your transaction failed, just uh, reduce the percentage. 
uh, I was not paying att- attention honestly. So I'm not gonna go over everything, but but obviously the the idea is to add liquidity here. After that, we're gonna proceed to the swap function, and probably you're already getting what what we're doing here. We're using the functionalities of the testnet and the platform, obviously. We're gonna select uh, SUUSD. We're gonna put a number here, and we're gonna swap to I don't know SUBTC maybe. I mean, the idea is to make swaps, so go and do all kinds of swaps right let's do her right here like do swapping also then we're gonna return to home we're gonna go to mint and we're gonna do a burn now and we have uh, what we have we have subtc right uh and we also have su yeah okay let's do those whatever i mean you have those or something else depending on what you're so oh, maybe you have everything just do the burn um, close that, go back to mint again. Let's do a withdrawal here and we're gonna select um, and do 0.2, I guess. Whatever the number, this is just random numbers. It, your numbers will depend on what you are doing, but I mean, we're recording transactions. Close this and let's do a bridge, by the way. I completely forgot about the bridge, so let's do a bridge here. Um, so bridge is one of the steps. I'm going to put it in the description of the video with more accurate uh, or more fluent way in, in terms of, of steps. So don't worry. Once you watch the video, just refer to the description of the video and go over the steps there and record transactions. Probably the bridging is going to take a little bit more time. So yeah, that's kind of it from... Okay, it, it was quite fast, by the way. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I mean, the... the the, the general idea here is to record transactions. Since we don't have a lot of time, I recommend doing this, I mean, every day for the first week and then maybe every couple of days. I mean, depending on your uh, testnet rotation, for me, since I, I farm a lot of, of them, I have like two bookmarks with 10 projects each and I rotate them every second day, pretty much. That's it. So that's my approach and your approach probably similar. So just add them to your rotation. But the first week, make sure to, to hard farm this one to record a little bit more transactions so you can add some transaction value to your wallet. So that's it with the Sinter Farm. In my opinion, interesting project. I'm allocating a little bit of time here. Hopefully I'll get a good payment back for my time. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can use the comment section below. My Discord is going to be live soon. I'm saying this with every video now, but really, 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 it's, it's, it's getting close. We're getting close. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you all with the next one.